Hi guys! In this video I'm gonna present you how Polish, typical Polish Christmas looks like. So if you're interested stay tuned and I'm gonna explain what to expect if you travel to Poland or if you're gonna spend holidays in Poland on Christmas time, what to expect. So stay tuned and we'll start. So first of all, the most important day for us, for Polish people, is 24th of December, not 25th. 25th is still important, we're going to church, if the family is like very religious, we're going to church, we're gonna spend the time with our family, have dinner and so on and so on. But the most important day for us is 24th and we have supper then. And we started when the first star comes to the sky. So that's our starting point. And then we're starting with uh, sharing wafers and we exchange wishes and we just just share it uh, with uh, like just take a bit and uh, say your wishes to the person that you're wishing to. Uh, so that's the beginning. Then we have a soup and the soup can be either a fish or beetroot or mushrooms. That's the typical and in some families you can also have fruit soups like pear, blueberry or other fruit uh, soups, but it depends on the region. And then we have the main courses, which is usually the fish and the cabbage and uh, some pea. So that's our... And those dishes, the, there will be 12 dishes in there. We're trying to do that. Uh, as well, don't be surprised if you see one empty space on the table, if you're dining with somebody. And that is the special place for somebody who will come to the house and ask for a place to stay for the night and uh, that's the uh, this special spot for this person so if you're looking for a place to stay on 24th just knock to somebody's door and if there is somebody there they're probably answer the door and you will be allowed to eat with them so traditional Polish uh, dish for uh, Christmas is carp I'm, I personally don't like it very much. I prefer cod or other fishes like that, like salmon. But uh, that's the traditional uh, Polish uh, dish for Christmas. And then there is also uh, cabbage with mushrooms or dumplings with cabbage and mushrooms. And also the pea with cabbage. So there is a lot of cabbage, a lot, a lot of fish, a lot of mushrooms, so just be your vet. And don't expect uh, meat on this day because the, that's not how we celebrate uh, Christmas in Poland. Then uh, after the supper, in some families there is a very special dish. This is, this is one of my favorite dishes of Christmas. It's makioki. And makioki is basically poppy seeds with either the bun or the pasta. It depends on the family recipe. So you have uh, you have that, and you mix it with uh, like milk or milk and other ingredients, and you have this special dish in between. Then you have to obviously you have to clean up after uh, the supper. And then there is very special someone coming. So there is very special someone coming, which is Santa. And Santa is coming to Polish children, uh, not in the middle of the night, but after supper and brings gifts. And it's either he's just dropping the gifts under the Christmas tree or coming it himself and give the presents to the children and to the adults. And then uh, usually, in, in my family, usually after uh, the presents we have a sweet part of the party <laughs> which is uh, poppy cake uh, or uh, cheesecake, that's a 
most traditional uh, and the gingerbread. I forgot about it. <laughs> so the gingerbread or the poppy cake and uh, cheesecake. That's the three most uh, important, most uh, traditional uh, cakes of the day for Christmas. So I forgot about one more thing. So under the um, tablecloth you have a, some straw laying under which symbolize the Jesus Christ that was born in the barn and there was a straw so under the tablecloth there is a straw and also there is 12 dishes which symbolize uh, 12 um, apostles the Christmas is very very much about uh, the meaning it's very much about uh, it's very much about all of those symbolize, so symbols. And then after uh, all of that, in some families they gather together and sing carols, or they go. Uh, oh, and they can go also at midnight. There is a very special mass uh, that only this day on midnight. And it's uh, to celebrate the born Jesus Christ being born. So you can go either on the mass or you celebrate with your family. So it to be like all what I've said is about my Christmas in my house, and I know in different houses it can be a bit different. Some of the traditions are the same. Uh, but some might be very very different than mine but uh, what's not changing is that we're not eating meat we're eating fish and the most important day is 24th but the rest of it can be a bit different but I hope you feel a bit more prepared for Polish Christmas and for Christmas uh, in Polish family so uh, I hope you liked the video, if you do click the like button and remember to subscribe. So I'm starting with uh, a lot a lot of videos in uh, New Year. I'll try to do one more video in this year but I don't know the Christmas time is very very stressful, it's very crazy so I hope I'll make it. <laughs> so. Uh, in case we won't see each other again, uh, have a really nice Christmas and I wish you all very well. I wish you the best and I wish you Happy New Year and I hope you'll be cool and stay cool. And uh, if you were on Polish Christmas, then let me know what surprised you the most and what was the, your surprise of the year so thanks so much for watching and bye bye